Thank you, Lori. Quick show of hands. If you know Lori, could you raise your hand? Look at that. She's, she's the best. She's fantastic. Uh, thank you for coming tonight, and welcome to the 2024 Into Nature On Air uh, Awards Ceremony and Community Reception. Uh, now, uh, we've had a, a beautiful show, as, as hopefully you've had a chance to begin looking over there. Astounding work all over the walls of the Howard Family Gallery. Uh, and it really is a testament uh, to the community of White Bear Lake, and it's just astounding beauty. This year, we kicked off Into Nature with a little kickoff celebration on July 27th, where we, uh, we celebrated our natural world with a, a mix of uh, diverse mediums, like painting, writing, uh, and dancing. We also celebrated our young artists with the Into Nature Junior, uh, which you can see those pieces of art right around the corner. They're fantastic. A couple of, uh, of really talented artists. I'm sure we'll be in the, the big show here before you know it, because you're getting in on the ground floor. Uh, this year, Into Nature had 166 submissions. Which is, uh, yes. Yes. <laughs> that is a little applause. 166 submissions. Uh, and they are, are absolutely beautiful. Uh, now, uh, all 166 of those will be in the Ford Family Gallery for a short period of time, just until next Wednesday, August 21st. Uh, then the award winners and uh, selected other pieces will move into our exhibition hall right around the corner. Uh, so speaking of award winners and, uh, and select uh, pieces, the person who uh, had the impossible task of deciding all of that uh, is here to my left, Michelle Combs. Uh, and I'm going to read a little bit about Michelle. Uh, she began painting at the age of 38 and studied traditional realism at Minnesota River School of Fine Art. Michelle is an award-winning artist who has been juried into local and international exhibits and describes her artistic practice, this is beautiful, I love this, as being about beauty and joy, a celebration of her life's experiences and memories. Well, I speak for everyone at White Bear Center for the Arts to say that I am honored to uh, have you our judge this year, and I look forward to hearing your impossible task. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you, Chris. Thank you. Well, first of all, I'd like you to all give yourselves another hand for all you painters who are out there painting for the last two weeks. <laughs> You never know if the weather is going to cooperate, and um, it's also part of the excitement, I think. So I think the goal of plein air painter, the goal of plein air painting, is to learn to understand nature and the behavior of light. When I go out to paint, the goal is to capture the spirit and the essence of a landscape. Um, Judging so many pieces was definitely a challenge. There was a lot of good work, and it's, judging is always somewhat sub subjective. So I did my best to look at your work and have a kind of a specific criteria. But before I go there, I just have a, a, a quote from Matisse. He said, creative people are curious, flexible, and independent with a tremendous spirit and a love of play. So maybe some of you can relate to that. Um, I'm using, for criteria in judging, I used Bob Upton's Seven Seas. The first time I heard it, I was at an event myself where he was judging, and they all made a lot of sense to me. The first one is that the piece is compelling. It has some kind of an irresistible visual impact. It's memorable. You kind of keep going back to it and looking at it. Second one is craftsmanship. Are the drawings, the values, the skill of the media, medium, the paint handling, and the presentation? Do you feel like it's well done and nicely painted? Three is the composition, the unity of the painting, um, as far as the design, the balance, the movement, the rhythm. It's thoughtful and not accidental. Do you feel like the, the whole work works as a whole? Uh, number four is color. It's not just bright color, but color harmony. There are good color relationships and balance. It can be subdued or strong color. The effect of light, how it permeates a piece. And you say, I like the color and it feels right. 
Number five is creativity. Not common, a unique perspective or voice. It stands out from other work, and you say, I haven't seen this before. Six is capture. Um, the truth is presented, not photographic, but real. You feel something. The capturing of the light, you say, this really captured that moment. It's like I'm here in the scene. And number seven is challenge. Has it overcome the challenges of painting outside, the weather, the fleeting light effects, simplifying, um, dealing with, in general, the chaos of outside, and feeling like you can feel a story or hear a story in the work itself. So that being said, um, I got to choose a few judges awards. So we'll start with those. <laughs> The first one I label loose and dramatic. Susan McQueen Kinney is called Clark Avenue. It was playful, the textural mark making with broken color. There was Thick and thin color, bold and timid, impasto, and light application of paint. It has structure with a strong pattern of darks and lights. And what I did on some of these paintings when I was kind of trying to decide, I actually liked a couple of her pieces, and I put them in my computer and I put them in black and white and then look at the abstract design of the piece. And this one I felt was the stronger one. And I do feel the warmth of the day and the cheerful disposition of the artist. So, does she come up to, oh, Susan? traditional plein air work. And what I'm seeing as I go to events myself, um, there's abstract artists stepping forward and people doing different kinds of creative thing um, with materials. And I thought it was brave to take a canvas out that large. Um, it had some beautiful color unity to it. And it was just really pleasing to the eye, and yet I felt there was a focal point in this overall pattern. So congratulations. <laughs> the next award was for Creative Storyteller. This again is the most unusual plein air piece I have ever seen. But the artist, took advantage, oh, it's called Yoga with Birds, honoring Cindy. <laughs> the artists actually use nature itself to construct this image. And instead of hanging on the wall, it sits on a table. There is some acrylic paint in there, but as you can see, there's leaves and acorns and sticks and whatever the artist could find. Um, Kelsey also added um, some interesting words and kind of a story. And if you run into her, ask her. Did I not say the name? I think it was Kelsey Centergy. I'm not sure I'm saying that right. Come on up here. 
like that you're here in counseling. Anyway, this was just so unique and unusual, and I thought she deserved a recognition for her creativity. Um, the next award goes to, for plein air notes, I called it, Tim Kurtz, The Blue Boat House. this piece, it seemed like it was a perfect example of what we call a plein air sketch. Uh, Tim captured the cool colors of the day. It's a nice feeling of sense of place. And this is one of these pieces that he could take into the studio and, and have all the information he needed to create a much larger painting. I liked the brushwork. Um, when you walk up and you look closer at it, you see beautiful vibrations in the sky and how it reflects into the water. I thought it was a nice sense of place and atmosphere. Is Tim here? Kevin McPherson, and one of the things he says um, in his book is that you can react in the field. Um, nothing puts you in a better painting mode than to just respond to what you see. And then you can take that piece back into the studio and reflect, have quietness, and decide where you want to take that piece as a finished larger work of art. So it was kind of fitting at this time to mention that. The next award is for White Bear Charm. And the award goes to Pam Kurtz for Lake Country Bookstore. I really thought this was just a really sweet painting and it gives character to the town of White Bear. If I saw this and I think, oh, I wonder what else is in that town. What am I going to see around the corner? So I thought it just characterized the white bear beautifully. So, Pam, are you here? Please come up. Soft Light. Her piece is titled Garden Charm. And I felt this watercolor just had a real nice feel for the sense of light. You can kind of feel the sunlight and the warmth. And she captured, you know, this moment of the day. Barb, are you here? is for sense of place. And it goes to Lisa Stauffer for Sanctuary. I thought the title actually speaks words for, for what the piece is all about. I thought the title was wonderful. It has a soft tonal palette. Um, the greens are very well done, subtle, but beautiful. I feel it's a, 
Again, a sense of place, a captured moment, very typical in the state of Minnesota. And I would love to go there to rest and contemplate. Okay, now we're going into the monetary awards. And the first one is for best watercolor. And that award goes to Carlota for Phil Brown sketch, or Philly Brown sketch. <laughs> this is a very small piece and very nicely done. Um, every brush stroke seemed to have purpose and, and captured important points in the composition. Simply stated, it, it showed a lot of strength and confidence and craftsmanship, and I thought it was well done. And <laughs> the artist did try it in another medium as well, but this one was my favorite. is the best pastel goes to Michael Farrell for wildflowers. I felt this is another small painting that seemed to have a strong visual impact. I love the abstract shapes in the design. The diagonal lines were really energetic and created excitement in the sky as well as the paint handling and the flowers. And I, I kept coming back to it and liked the composition, the use of color, and the creativity. So well done, Michael Farrell. <laughs> okay, the best acrylic is Amy Clark for Tamarack Nature Center Dragonfly Loop. I think what's most notable um, is the mark making. Strong patterns, a definite sense of light and shadow. A nice sense of warm and cool colors. Congratulations, Amy. My program and my notes are, are, are different. One's backwards. <laughs> so bear with me. Okay, the best oil is for given to Greg Murphy for Little Yellow Boat. <laughs> this piece was probably captured during the golden hour. The light is spectacular. The brush strokes are beautiful. It glows. A very dramatic sense of light. And I, yet I think the painting takes on kind of a peaceful, tranquil feeling. And I actually just discovered that boat yesterday. <laughs> I saw where it was parked, and it was a, a very inviting scene to paint. So congratulations, Greg. for my Birchwood Garden, Patricia Schofru. Yeah. I thought this was kind of an unusual 
beautiful um, composition as she put the flower pot kind of right in the center. But it seems to work with the leaves and stuff that surrounded. You definitely look at the pot and your eyes want to go back and admire those beautiful houses kind of bathing in that soft pink white. Congratulations, Patricia. Okay, Award of Merit goes to Nicole Noel Dolan. Excuse me. I just kept going back to. I felt it had a really nice sense of light and dark shapes. The abstract component of it was just lovely. The arabesque of all her edges, of the trees, of the ground, just all seemed um, beautifully composed. has a nice sense of place. There's a definite foreground, middle ground, background. I felt it was a strong painting with a nice sense of unity. And I kind of feel like I'm standing right there. So congratulations, Noel. Okay, moving on to Award of Excellence. Dakota Land Tamarack Nations Nature Center goes to Christopher Coffin. <laughs> uh, this piece is just so lovely, um, painted really well. It just seems, seems academically so correct, <laughs> um, whatever that means. <laughs> but he captured the atmosphere, the expression of truthful values and colors. I really feel a sense of place. I can feel the temperature of the day. I can see the coolness in the sky, the reflections of the land. He did a wonderful job in the clouds. You can like you just feel that atmosphere. You can you can feel the weight. You can feel the lightness of the puffy clouds. It's just so well put together. And in the foreground, there's almost kind of a um, an S that you know takes you back. That tree on the left is just perfect for keeping the viewer viewing and and circling your painting. Well done, Chris. <laughs> okay, best of show given by Rob, Bob and Pam Newford. Thank you to them for this best of show award. And it goes. It goes to David Nemo for banning in second. I'm gonna stand up for this one. Um, I felt this is probably 11 by 14 painting, and there's a lot of information in a small space. But I felt there was very strong craftsmanship and composition. There was wonderful diagonal lines. There's diagonals from the road, from the sidewalk. When I first saw the bright tree on the left, I thought, well, that's kind of unusual. But it didn't take me out of the painting. It created another strong diagonal of light that takes you back to the focal point. It shows great atmospheric um, perspective as well as linear perspective. And also, even on the other side, we find the diagonals, lots of diagonals that lead to this beautiful spot. 
And when you look closer, you also see some wonderful brush strokes of paint. So congratulations, David. <laughs> of judging this show. I'm excited for you all to enjoy it. Um, one last quote from Charles Hawthorne, a painter I admire. He said, anything under the sun is beautiful if you have the vision. It is seeing the thing that makes it so. So congratulations to the winners and everybody else. And remember, um, the pieces are for sale. We'd love for you to buy them if you fall in love with them. And I will be teaching a plein air workshop in October if anyone would like to sign up and join me. Um, White Bear Lake is a wonderful um, community and artists through history have traveled when they wanted to paint. And coming here, you kind of feel like you're in a resort town and far from home and it's a lot of fun. So thank you very much. <laughs> And just a quick thanks again from White Bear Center for the Arts. We're so glad that you could join us this evening. Thank you to all the artists who participated in the contest. And a special thanks to Robert and Pamela Nufford for the Best of Show Award. We're grateful for the support. Enjoy the evening. There are refreshments in the Polly Shank studio. And uh, enjoy the beautiful artwork. Thank you all. These are additional selections that will hang for the duration of the show. <laughs> <laughs>